Welcome food and fitness lovers to Tina's Ageless Kitchen. I'm Chef Tina Martini. You might know me as the Medicine Chef. Well, today we're gonna look at viewers' questions. And from season two, the number one question was about calcium. So today we're gonna look at all the different ways to get calcium, both in a nutrition program that includes animal products and in a vegan nutrition program as well. And it's easier than you might think. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to Dr. Tina Martini, AKA the Medicine Chef. The clip you just saw was from a cooking show that Chef Tina hosted on PBS for three seasons. Tina wants to have her own cooking show again, so she applied for a 30-day coaching program for chefs that I'm offering, and she got accepted. The rest of this video is from our orientation meeting for the coaching program. Tina. Hello, Lindsay. How are you? I'm well. How are you? I'm doing you're great. Getting, you're getting the working version of the chef, not the TV version today. <laughs> I'm prepping. I'm prepping for a party, so... We both know what makeup and lighting will do. Yep, we sure do. So you, uh, congratulations. And well, it's kind of a preliminary congratulations because what we're going to do real quick is go over what this actually entails to make sure that you, you actually want to sign up for this. Because our okay. goal here, our goal here is to create a, a YouTube cooking channel for you where you're going to publish one recipe per week, one video per week from now on. Like that just, that's what it takes. You have to, to have success with a cooking channel on YouTube. You, we're talking about 50 episodes a year. So this has to become something that just is part of your routine, publishing one cooking video per week for as long as it takes for it to start producing the results that you want. So is that, is that something that you, you know, that you're up for? Cause this, this is real work. Well, I don't know how to do the video stuff. So yeah, are you going to help me or is somebody going to help me? Or So the, the video part is, that's really the easy part. It's, it's really quite simple. Once you get that set up the first time, and I will help you do that. But the commitment part of actually showing up and doing, you know, doing the show, that's the part that people can't do. Like anybody can publish one or two uh, cooking videos. You'll see that all the time. But you don't see people who most people don't make it to 10 episodes, not because they don't know how to do the camera stuff, but because they just oh. can't commit to doing a cooking show over and over and over and over again. Oh, well, my only challenge is the technical stuff. That's yeah, the tech stuff. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll get through that. Um, that's that's not a problem at all. Do you have a camera at all? Um. Well, the challenge is that the camera I bought is too big for my laptop. So they told me that it was, and I didn't know that before I bought the camera. Um, they told me it was like a Volkswagen pulling a semi up a hill. So I need <laughs> a bigger something or other in my laptop. What kind of camera do you, do you know what it is, the name of it? Um, well, I could find it in my office. Um, I paid about $100 for it. And at the time, everyone said it was one of the best ones. But I'll get whatever you tell me to get. Okay. Um, well, we'll see what, what you have. I always like to start people. Like if what you have will work, we'll just use what you have. Uh, but if we do need to invest in another camera, then, then that's what we'll do. Um, I think what I need to invest in is a laptop. It's not the camera that was the problem. The camera did all kinds of cool stuff. Like you could do split screen and we well, just did all kinds of cool stuff. You as a producer, I'm sure you know, but um, it was the laptop that didn't have enough. I don't know what memory or drive or something. So my laptop wasn't powerful enough to operate the camera at its optimal okay. capacity. Does that make sense? Yeah. So you okay. do you still have the same laptop? Yes. So that's okay. what I'm saying. I probably need to, more than investing in a new camera, I probably need to invest in a new laptop. So what I would look to you for is complete guidance on the technology side. 
when I shot for PBS, and the only reason I'm not on there right now is because I'm not good at getting a sponsor. They want me back on, but I don't have anyone to help me get a sponsor. And that's not what they do. They want you to get your own sponsor and get your budget set up and all that, and then they'll go for it. But um, I shot 47 recipes in two and a half days when I was shooting for PBS. Okay. 47 yeah. recipes. Lindsay, you, you did you hear me? Yeah, I heard you. That's, that's, I mean, just trying to see problem. how she actually, okay. So if you, if you, if you're able to do that, the curriculum that I prescribe for you is, is much less rigorous than that. And, um, yeah, you, you, so the PBS thing, yeah, I saw that in your, um, in your application. That's, um, yeah, that's the way they do things, but you don't, you don't need a sponsor to have a cooking show. Not today, which is why I'm doing what I'm doing is to teach more chefs that the old model of television, the one that we grew up on, that really doesn't apply anymore. Now we have YouTube. YouTube is the number one streaming platform. So it's, Everyone it's bigger than tells me this, Lindsay, yeah. but my mind is like, I need a contract on the food network. That's where my mind is at. Um, well, but everyone's so, like, you're thinking old fashioned. Yeah. You're, yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, I'm trying to not be old fashioned and I have a really great message with a really strong track record to back it up. Yeah. So, and you don't need the, the food network. Like that food network is that's Hollywood and Hollywood pays so well that everybody's on strike right now. Like that's <laughs> why that's, okay. you, you, you know, that's, that's, uh, you don't have to do it that way. It's actually much better to do it on YouTube. Uh, 47% of people watch YouTube on their television. So if you're on YouTube, you have a TV show. I saw that in your information. I read yeah. everything you sent. It's, I it's, saw it. It's yeah. the same thing. YouTube right. is just another channel on TV. So I know. You, you want to be on TV, you can go straight up. to it. Yeah. And actually, so YouTube is better. This is another example of how it's better than the Food Network, for example. YouTube is the number two search engine in the world behind Google, which is number one. So it comes up in all the Google searches. So people who are searching for uh, cancer treatments, cancer relief, the, the types of uh, uh, support that you provide, they're not going to find you on the Food Network. They're going to find you in a Google search or a YouTube search. So okay. this is another example of how this platform is actually better. It's just better. There's there's no nothing you can accomplish on the Food Network that you can't accomplish on YouTube. But there are lots uh, you know, of things you can accomplish on YouTube that you cannot accomplish on the Food Network. That, that's what I was just going to say. You know what it sounds like to me is like there's nothing for me to accomplish on the Food Network. Nothing. Like creating my own thing. But here's the thing. I have to tell you the truth. I've spent tens of thousands of dollars with people and they don't do what they say they will help. I need someone to help me with the technology. That's all I need. Yep. And I agree with you. I am totally in your game. I'm I'm like Okay. I agree with you. Um but the frustration is I don't know how to do any of this. So that's why I don't already that's have millions of subscribers on my YouTube channel. You know what I mean, Lindsay? Yeah. I mean that's the bottom line is I I get it. And I've so, tried for years. I've probably tried for nine years. And it's very okay. frustrating. It's just very okay. frustrating. Well, yeah, we're going to fix that. Because the, the technology part, that's that's not even a one-week prop. That's like, I'm going to see what you have. I want to tell you what to order. I'm going to show you how to set it up. And then that's it. That problem is solved. Once you have And then the, you're gonna help me upload the videos and stuff. You're gonna help me manage the channel. I'm gonna teach you how to build your team to do that. So I'm not gonna do all of that work. Those are different. Uh you're gonna need to build a team of people, um, your production team, but I'm gonna teach you how to do these things. So uploading, so you first thing you're gonna need is a video editor, somebody to to, to edit the videos for you. The place you're gonna find that person is 
going to be either Fiverr or Upwork where you can outsource, you know, they're, they're professional video editors. There. It's basically a, a job site for, for freelancers. And you just go through their profiles and you find somebody who, you know, it's, it, think of it like Amazon where you can see the reviews and, and, you know, how many people have bought this particular product and what they have to say about it. Well, mm-hmm. with Upwork and um, Upwork and Fiverr, you get the you see reviews of these these different professionals. How many jobs have they done? What's their customer rating? That kind of thing. And then you and their price. And then you find somebody that you want to work with, and you use that person to edit your videos. And they're also going to be so they're going to edit them, and they can upload directly to your YouTube channel once you have determined. You know, once you've approved the video, make sure that you like how they edited it. And so that's the first person that you're going to add to your team is your video editor who's going to take the raw footage that you give them, process it the way you want it processed. And if you want, they can either send it back directly to you and you upload it to YouTube, or you can give them an uh, uh, administrator access, a moderator, or I can't think of the correct term right now, but they can upload stuff to your YouTube channel. They can have limited access to where they can upload videos okay. to your channel. And so you don't have to do it, but this yeah, so sounds, I don't, this sounds like what I've already done though. And I haven't had success. I don't well, know what the key is. Well, I feel part, like I just need to hire someone that's going to do all this for me. Yeah. That's a, that's a, a very common mistake that people make. You're not going to find one person who's going to do all of this for you. You just, okay. you just not. You, you There's not like a YouTube management service that does everything. I thought that's what you were. No, I'm a I'm a coach. So I teach okay. you how to do these things. I teach you how to get your equipment set up. I teach you how to market your channel. I teach you how to what you need to delegate and how do you do it. But I don't actually do these things for you. Those are okay. that's what's called a done for you service. Uh-huh. I offer a done with you service where I'm teaching you how to do these things. Um, okay. You, there probably are, a matter of fact, I know there are all in one agencies that do all of this stuff or claim to do it. I can't recommend any of them to you because I haven't worked with them. I don't use them. You know, right. my process right. is teach people to find, find your video editor. You know, you just go through, it's like you're hiring a person for a job. You, you, right. you your applicants. You pick somebody that you like, you give them a shot, and if it works, you keep working with them. If it doesn't, you pick somebody else, and okay. then you're going to you're gonna build your team rather than... So the problem with the pro- approach that you're taking or, or have taken is a lot of people will... They're fantastic at marketing, and they will tell you everything you want to hear. Oh, yeah, we'll take care of all of this for you. We'll do this, 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 and this, and you pay them. And you don't get what you wanted. You don't have the experience that you expected because it's very That's easy to say history. things. Yeah. It's very yeah. easy to promise stuff, but to actually deliver it, which is why I don't do that because I know how much all of this work is. So they offer you a price and they charge you this money. And sometimes they're not even charging enough to do everything that they promise, which is why they don't deliver it. Okay. And so I don't, I don't advocate the all in one approach because most of the time, I mean, there are reputable agencies out here, but most of the time you're going to pay a lot of money and be disappointed. Okay. Yep. And that's, yep. You're right. Here I am. That's what I've experienced. <laughs> <laughs> yep. You hit the nail on the head. <laughs> yeah. Oh my. Okay. So um, do you want to tell me how much your service is or what would you like to do? Do you want me to? Do you well, want to look at some of my videos or what do you want to do? So what you signed up for, this is 30 days. It was really going to be a little more than 30 days because we're going to start now and go through the end of um, through the end of November. You you signed up. I asked for five chefs that I'm going to work with for 30 days. Right. And for that 30 days, we're going to do everything we possibly can. And. It won't be until after that that you can decide if you if you want to continue working with me at that point, we can start talking about what that's going to cost. But right now, you're not paying anything. I'm going to do everything I can. Help me? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. 
for the very reason that you just described. So many people, I've encountered so many chefs that have been burned from in a variety of different ways. And there's other, there's, <laughs> there are some campaigns out here, some uh, million dollar advertising campaigns that are targeting chefs because this is a, a $500 billion market. And it's a lot of people out here promising you all things and getting you to sign up for things and, 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 and do all kinds of work creating intellectual property, cooking shows and such, mm-hmm. and they're getting paid from it and you're not. Right. And, uh, that I, so I, lot. I don't, you know, so you have that and then you have the mindset of, you know, everybody's trying to get a show on the Food Network and I'm like, yo, you can, you can just go straight to YouTube. You don't have to jump through all their hoops and, and do their applications. You can just create the show that you want to create on YouTube. And so that's why I'm doing this, working with five chefs. If I if I get five good money opportunities. I mean, people say these ridiculous figures, Lindsay. I'm not, you know, are I mean, people really are making that much money on YouTube. How? How do they make that much money? How do you get paid? (laughs) There's a variety of ways. So the the best way, the way you make the most money from YouTube is to use use YouTube as an advertising platform, as your marketing platform. And you have something to sell people directly. That can be a service, like your your catering service or your private chef service. People yeah, see I you. Don't no, I'm just giving you, I'm going down the list. Okay. So you have a service you can sell, a catering or a private chef service. So people see you on YouTube, you get more customers. Like YouTube is the new version of the yellow pages for people who are smart. Right. It's so much better. Um, I just want to do TV. That's all I want to do. I just want to do TV. So you have services that you can sell. You have products that you can sell. You you know, some people do merchandise. What I recommend to people is selling um, uh, paid online communities. So what you put on YouTube, some people are going to, they're going to see your recipes and they're going to have questions. You're not going to answer all those questions on YouTube. You're going to have a paid membership community where people can come. And that's where you do the additional engagement, where you do live streams. You can do live Q&A. It's a community. So think like a private version of Facebook. Absolutely. They pay for it all day, every day. Can I send you a copy of my book, Lindsay? Delicious Medicine, The Healing Power of Food. What is it? Uh, so you you you're a PhD or MD? I'm an MD PhD. I have both. I have a double Whoa. doctorate. Yeah. Okay. I have a lot of education, but more than anything, I have a great track record. Tell me people, what when people what? work with me, Lindsay, they get well. Even after the allopathic docs say you're going to die, they don't. They don't die. So what you have is a very specialized skill set and a niche. Like any any chef can make money with a cooking community, but when you have a very specialized niche like what you you have, you can charge normally what I would tell a chef is if they have a decent amount of experience, okay, your community should be at least $35 a month. I I like 50 excuse me, 50 bucks a month, you find a thousand people on planet earth who want to learn from you. That's $50,000 per month. That's insane. For something like what you <laughs> offer. Come on my yacht and visit me and I'm going to cook for you. <laughs> <laughs> so for a specialist, a highly, highly specialist like, like you, the kind of treatment, the, the 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 problem that you're solving, the kind of uh, results that you're you're able to deliver, and the track record that you have, somebody who needs that kind of help, a hundred dollars a month is nothing. Right. Like, you talking about I when you talking about your yeah. your life, or a hundred bucks a month, or a thousand dollars a year, for example, and then you just take that. Is we're talking about basic math. You just take that and multiply it times how many people have this problem. Well, for what you're talking about, millions, and you only need a tiny fraction of that, 
you know, how, how many people who are willing are, are willing to pay you a thousand bucks a year to be in your community where you're teaching them how to heal themselves with food? How many of those people do you need to, to make a million dollars a year or whatever you want to make? That's that's where the money comes from. So that, to answer okay. your question is basic so math. Want, that's so, why I love you, too. Because <laughs> we can be rebels. You can, can you. It, you don't even have to be, it's not being a rebel. You get to be you. Yeah. You get to be you. YouTube. Yeah, you YouTube. too. It's, it's, it's in the name. Yeah, you get okay, to be you. So I don't know how to do any of this, but I can give you 10 recipes a week. If you show me how to do the videotape, get the person to actually do the work and how to build the community, because this is what I wanted to do all along. Okay. I wanted yeah. to do a movement of the, like, I didn't want to take on too much because I don't know how to do it. But I thought a yoga pose or some Pilates work because I'm a master coach in both. So what I do, Lindsay, is I work on the pyramid of power. And that's medicinal nutrition, structured fitness, and mind-body techniques. Okay. And so the mind leads the body. So that's the foundation of the pyramid and then medicinal nutrition and structured fitness. And um, so I'm a master Pilates coach. I train in a beautiful studio right now. And I also train the football players. And okay. um, so I just know that I could do a wellness, like a health and fitness variety show that everyone would love. And the thing is, is I don't follow trends ever. And I dispel a lot of myths. And okay. I always give the why. Okay. Yeah, we can do all that. We're going to start with the cooking show. And then that's the foundation that you use to build everything else that you want to do. The cooking Lindsay, show is the... And let's make a hundred million dollars so you can take percent. <laughs> I, I don't care how much you take. I don't help want a hundred million dollars. No, you got you already got you already got the help. Lindsay, so we, don't you, proclaim you don't want a hundred million dollars no, to the no, universe. No, yes, I will because <laughs> because I I know how much money I, I want. And I know once you get past a certain amount of money, you just I I, I know what it takes to get a hundred million. I don't want to do, I don't want to do what that takes. That's I hear you. <laughs> so, and yeah. And this is water. I'm not drinking alcohol. This is water. <laughs> I don't want you to think I'm some crazy alcoholic nut taking up your time. <laughs> hey, we both know chefs are no angels. Well, it's a demanding uh, occupation. Um, how many, have you done any kind of email marketing or at least do you have email addresses for any of these people who you've helped? You are going to fall over when I tell you what I have right now. I have the email. I think I have the phone number. I don't have the addresses. I have the email addresses of all of the people that have taken cooking classes and Pilates classes from me in the last six months. And it's okay. probably... 600 people that are okay. brand new. And then I probably have another thousand that are old that would probably get a lot of kickbacks that are no good anymore. You know what I mean? Well, like I've got old email lists that there may be some good stuff, but I've got this bomb email list that I just put together. That's all customers in the last six months. Okay. That, that's awesome. That's an excellent starting point. Uh, it is people... a starting point. I understand. I know you have people that have a hundred thousand followers. No, I know no, no. Most most people don't have any. They they have zero uh, email list is what we're talking about. Most people have zero email addresses and have to start from scratch. Uh, starting with six hundred is a a huge jump start because these are people who, uh, as soon as we create your um your channel. They're going to sign up immediately. They're going to subscribe immediately. And some of them. That's what I think. And no question, because this is the beauty of a cooking show. You're not, you're giving, you're not asking. So when you say go to my YouTube channel and subscribe and get a fantastic new uh, recipe every week, 
You're not asking them for something. You're giving them something. So they're so happy I to do it. To a movement of the week, a, a recipe of the week with all the phyto facts. So I call them fight bites, you know, the phytonutrition, like plant nutrition. So I call them fight bites. And so we could do like just quick, like here's your fight bite of the week. Did you know that zucchini removes all of the toxins from your intestines? Okay. You know what I mean? Like I something like that. that. That's yeah. right. That, that that's, kind of education, that, that stuff that just keeps people coming back. If you edu educate and entertain people, educate or entertain people, if you can do both, that's even better. And that will just keep them coming back. And then some folks will want more and more is what you will make available inside your private membership community where you're charging 35, 50, well, your community, you're, you're at least a $50 a month community because you just have the credentials and the experience for that. Um, okay. Your your community, we may I, I gotta you know think about and and figure out who we're going to target with it, but you're at fifty a month, easy. easy. The spa goers, e easy. We're going to target the spa goers and you're, the you're uh, at fifty a month, easy. And okay. again, you find a thousand of those people, that's fifty grand a month. Do you that's, know that? Do you know what I've also learned is that. When you don't value yourself, others don't. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I want to charge whatever you think. I don't want to discount myself anymore because okay. people don't Excellent. care. You know Excellent. what I mean? People don't care. Do you agree with that or not? No, I absolutely agree. And I'm glad you've had that experience because usually I'm having to educate the business owner on this and fight with them to get them to charge more. It's really a problem with women business owners. Okay. Uh, you, you guys, my theory on it is that women by nature are nurturing and just, just caring and like y'all take care of the family and you, you, you're used to doing so many things for so many people. When you start a business, you still have that same mindset and that just sets you up for exploitation. People will just take, 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 and take because you're giving and you, you, you got to know how to put your your business cap on and charge what you're supposed to charge and draw lines so that people have to pay you what you're asking for and respect your boundaries. Um, but I'm glad you've had the experience that you had because usually I have to explain this and then get and again, fight with people to get them to charge more because they want to just give away too much for, for not enough money. And um, yeah, I'm glad, I'm, glad I'm not going to deal it. with that with you. People don't value it. Yeah. They just don't. Yeah. And and okay. and when you charge more money, you get to work with better people. They're okay. so much more pleasant to deal with. You have your biggest customer service headaches from the people who you charge the least amount of money to. They the expect the world for nothing. Yeah, that's like food. You know, dealing with the people. When you're a chef, you got to have alligator skin because people are mean. I mean, they'll say what they think and. They expect everything for nothing. And yeah. so, no, I want to put out really great food that's really easy to do, that you can actually find the ingredients and explain why. And I think we've got a really winning product. I'm just tired of being frustrated with the technological side of things. And quite frankly, I gave up. And no, then I you? saw your information and something just said, just try one more time. Are you going to record yourself or are you going to be able to have somebody to operate the cameras for you? No, I don't have anyone to help me. Um, okay. We can work with that at some point in the future. That's down the road. That's another position, another job that you want to delegate. We want to get you to doing just the cooking and the teaching and somebody else is doing all the other things. And so yeah, we'll that get would there. be helpful, but now I've burned through all my money. Yeah, that's, that's okay. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll take care of that. Like you'll, the community that you're capable of building, if, if you can do the things that you say you've done and you have the people, you know, that 
you already have the credentials and the track record. You'll get paying customers quickly. We're going to build something for you quickly that uh, where you can start generating income. And then when people, so when you bring these people in and they start having this great experience and they're telling other folks, your community will start to grow itself. And okay. each, each new person, you know, this is more money, more people, more members, more money. It's, it's the Netflix model. This is a subscription model business. You bring people in, they're having a good experience. They tell other people about it. They bring more people in and your community just continues to grow. In addition to what you're doing on YouTube, which puts you in front of even more people. And it just, you know, it, you get it going and it will, it will eventually start to snowball. And uh, there's really no, no limit once you get that okay. process going. That sounds great. That's perfect. That's what I'm looking for. I just have unlimited content and somebody's got to be interested. I get probably a thousand views a day on my Insta stories. Okay. Okay. People love the Insta stories. Yeah. Y'all chefs love the waste time on Instagram because it doesn't pay you <laughs> if you take it, it to doesn't. YouTube. It doesn't, what? but at least it keeps people interested and people do come to my like if they happen to be in San Diego, they come to my yoga brunches and, you know, my Pilates events and I take people out hiking really? and um, do a lunch and stuff like that. So I do do events. I love okay. events and I are do you, retreats. So these events and, and retreats, are you, you charging for these things? Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. for sure. If someone has cancer and I know for a fact that their budget strapped, we do a scholarship. Okay. So we'll take a person or two and we can announce that, you know, that we're taking a scholarship or whatever. If anybody wants to like go out to rabbit trail or whatever, it's right. this really cool endurance hike that I take regular people on and it makes them feel like superhuman. It's okay. like an achievement. And then we put up a lunch, we bring the vans, we provide trans, you know, transportation for the day and all that. Okay. okay. Yeah, they're really fun. I'm all about right now just having fun. That's my only mission. I just want to have fun. And people it. are so sad. I can't believe what a mess our society is. That's uh, another one of the, the benefits of building a, a private online community. It works just like Facebook, except it doesn't have any of the toxicity. You, you, you have a place where people can come and get all of the, everything that people signed up for Facebook for in the beginning and not like nobody signed up for what it has become. Right. That's people right. signed up for what it used to be. Right. And you can create that. We all have, you know, the technologies exist now for us to be able to create private social media platforms where you can fellowship and be with like-minded people and feel better instead of regular social media, where it's just designed to get everybody angry at each other. Right. That's right. Yeah. And that's all it does is divide. And so, yeah, I just, I'm sad right now for people. And so I just want to extend love. That's all I want to do. Okay. That's what we're going to do. Uh, do you have a any kind of video light? Um, I don't. Like, is it like the light ring? The ring light? Yeah. Um, the, I've seen yeah. people that have the light rings. Do, do So if you don't have any video light, that's, that. that's fine. Um, How much is it? Ring lights are, you can get those cheap, probably. 75 bucks, maybe a hundred. Um, okay. I can get that. Uh, that's not really the right, the one that I recommend for people. So what I'm going to do is what do you recommend. Well, will you just send me in an email, everything yeah, that would that's be what I'm going to do for me to have, as far as setting up the kitchen, I've got a beautiful kitchen. Oh, Oh, that's what I meant to ask you. Do you have a kitchen where, Either you have a cooking surface where you can face the camera or do you I have, don't. do you have an Island by chance? I do. And I know how to get around it, Lindsay, and you'll like my setup. So 
I I can show you the setup when we get to that point. Do you have a portable I story? Have mastered. Let me send you my heart health seminar from MedFit. And okay. you can see how I negotiate the cooking because the computer sits on the island and then the cooktop is this way against the wall. So I can position my body so I'm cooking and still talking and it's not too awkward. It actually kind of works. Yeah. I know that, we need an island with a stove. Not, I know. Well, no, you don't need an island. So if you have an island, then all you need is a portable stove. If you don't have an island, a little, you know, a little portable. I've got an induction burner. Yeah, I do. I just so, thought it might be chintzy. That's all. No, no, that's no, that's okay. If, if, I have if you, if you look, if you pay attention to the shows that you see on TV, the cooking shows that you see on TV, if they do not have an, a dedicated island with, with, with burners, yeah, they're using portable stoves, but okay. you don't, you don't even pay attention to it because it doesn't matter. You, they're cooking. You're paying attention to the recipe and what they're doing. You're not paying attention to, hey, they, they're using a portable stove. You, you don't even, you don't even see it. You don't even think okay. about it. Okay. So if you have an island and a portable stove, that's what we're going to use. Um, and if you didn't have an island, all we do is get a, a stainless steel table and create an island. You can get a table for like hundred bucks, hundred fifty bucks, but you already I've have an island, so you don't I've have to worry about. I've got equipment in storage. Yeah. So I've that's... got a print table and all that. I just kind of liked my kitchen is a very unusual color. It was custom stained and the mm -hmm. marble is really pretty. So that's why I was just trying to make like the kitchen itself work. But let yeah. me send you this seminar yeah, and you can what just fast do. forward to the cooking part. And But it's my heart health program that 16 people have gone through and rebuilt new hearts. So you might be interested. That. So um, let me send you the people. seminar. So those 16 people, are they by chance in, included in that list of 600? Your email? Oh, no, but I have their contact info. Oh, so sure. these, yeah, the oh, folks like that, people who you've had that kind of impact on their life, those people are going to sign up immediately. Yeah. For your, for your, for your, oh, yeah. this, for your uh, paid program. Your YouTube mm -hmm. channel is nothing. They're going to, of course, they're going to sign up for that. But when they find out, that you have a paid community, a community where they can join and continue to benefit from your expertise and all you, those people are already going to sign up. So you, you have people who are ready to pay you. You just haven't given them a way to do it. Listen, Lindsay, when I closed my PBS show, Tina's Ageless Kitchen, I was drawing 1.3 million viewers in season three. Per episode. Okay. That is the, the pilot started the pilot started at eight hundred thousand people tuned into the pilot originally. Okay. And then with each season, we did 13 episodes per season, and they bought three seasons. Okay. Plus a pilot. By the close of season three, we were at 1.3 million viewers. If you, if you did. And now after the pandemic, people realize how important their immune system is. And that's my area of expertise. Excellent. But I want you to think about this for a minute because I'm taking up too much of your time. The man who helped me put my book together, he really felt that my biggest mistake in my career was that I've always been focused on the eradication of cancer and lifestyle driven diseases. He said, if a long time ago, I would have just talked about anti-aging and remaining youthful, I'd probably be a gazillionaire right now. He said, because I folk, nobody wants to hear about cancer. It's scary. Well, except for people who have cancer and need some help. Yeah. Yeah, but do we just want to target that or do we want to invite everyone to learn prevention and care? Because especially after the pandemic, we're seeing a lot of people with cancer right now. I mean, everybody knows somebody with cancer. 
Yeah, you can. I don't think so it's um. Well, it, he may have been right at the time. You okay. you don't have to do either or now. Um, focusing is always better, but again, with the credentials that you have, you are able to speak to both. And with your own weekly cooking show, you have a platform where you can speak to both. Like you can, I, that's you can what say I what too. you want to say. So, I think any, and, and kids love me. I cook with kids. Kids love me. We could do a kids episode. I mean, okay. it's just endless. And then eventually if I start generating a little income, I want to fly out to places like Edmonton, Oklahoma and visit, um, sling bungee and they are on the big bungees from the ceiling doing okay. aerobics on the bu oh. and visit and say hey food and fitness lovers it's your girl the medicine chef and today we're coming to you <laughs> from edmonton oklahoma <laughs> have you ever flown because today i'm gonna fly okay. and then i get on the bungee and show the workout and then maybe we do a recovery snack after yeah, you're I'm not. I'm telling you, we have a hit. That that you're not paying for that trip on credit. This is going to be cash. Once once we get your show going and your community, your paid membership community going, you're not buying stuff on credit anymore. So, just yeah. Well, the you, business is flush then, hopefully. But you know what I mean. If we had to do something spectacular, no. I just thought something like that would be like go somewhere and. Say, hey, you want to fly with me today or whatever. I just think it would be fun because it's part of the whole pyramid of power thing. We're not just food. We're fitness. We're meditation. We're yoga. We're Pilates. Yeah, I would say put that one on the calendar for the summer, something like that. When, because okay. you, you'll, by then, you'll, you're definitely, you're not going to be paying for that on credit. That's, that's, okay. you know, and okay. then you can. And you can actually plan that to be the the big event that you want it to be. Like you may invite some folks to join you or however you want to do that. But yeah, you don't That'd need anything. Fun. You don't need anything okay. like that to launch your show. All you need is what you already have. Okay. Yeah. All right. We're going to get your. Another thing I'm launching for next summer is Pilates on the SUP board. Have you ever done the SUP board where you stand up and paddle? Like the big surfboard that you stand on with the big rowing thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, everybody does yoga on it. They do yoga sup. Stand up and paddle is the sup. But I'm creating a sup Pilates. So okay. next summer, I'm going to launch the sup Pilates. And by then, I'll have my bathing suit body on. Okay. And so I can be on my SUP board doing Pilates with everybody out in the San Diego Bay. And then we'll have a brunch afterward and we'll film that too. So we'll just have a quick shot of everyone out on their boards doing Pilates. And then we'll film the brunch and I'll do a cooking demo or something. I mean, I just think stuff like that people would just love. Yeah. And they're going to learn too. So write that one down. Because you can do, the way I see that one playing out is you're going to, in January, you have the opportunity for personal transformation. That's the mindset everybody's going to be in. Yep. And so you can talk about meal prep and develop a uh, weight loss program for people to join in on and participate in together to get ready for uh, the, the sub thing. Yeah. Oh. I love that, Lindsay. Let's get you ready for the summer. And we got to start doing that now because here's the trip that we're, you know, yeah. we're heading. Okay. You know, this is the trip that we're going on. This is the date, you know, all of that. Uh, and if you want to be ready for that, net, you know, you want to look good then, we got to start now. And right. let's go on this journey together. And yeah. And we want to be out of the bikini body culture completely. It's more like if you want to feel good enough to do Pilates on your sub board, let's start now. There and be all about the feel good community there instead of so much the look good. I mean, there I know go. we got to do a little bit of that, but. Yeah, that that's that's a perfect message for January. It's okay, a, that is. Because uh, 
you have an opportunity to get customers in January that you can't get any other time of year. Just That's like, right. you know, the florist, you got, they got Valentine's Day. And then the day after Valentine's Day, they are not selling flowers. So. <laughs> right. That's right. Yep. That's right. You've got your window of opportunity. That's right. Yep. And we make our money, the fitness people, January through March, you know, is our money making time. Okay. But for a chef, see, we're coming up to the holidays. So everybody wants to know how to make plant-based holiday stuff. That's why I want to get started right now. I yes. don't want to wait. That's actually so one of the things that I tell people is, yeah. is everybody needs to learn some plant-based recipes because the hosts who, who bring everybody together for Thanksgiving, they got to feed vegans now. And mm -hmm. you can't just, and, and they don't know how to do it. So, right. so that's a tremendous opportunity to help somebody who wants to be a gracious host and make sure everybody has a great time. But they don't, they just don't know how to do it. So yeah. And something um, delicious to eat. Yeah. That's so a, a huge that's my opportunity. whole gig is I've been a plant-based chef 37 years. Oh, wow. I was 37 years I've been a plant-based chef. <laughs> Long before it was cool. I didn't know that. And I do all the gluten-free. I've done gluten-free wedding cakes that you can't even tell they're gluten-free. Plant-based, For people's free. wedding. Yeah, that's my whole thing. The medicine chef. That's why I'm the medicine chef. I've been doing gluten-free, plant-based, uh, medicinal nutrition, cancer fighting for 37 years. Okay. I went to culinary school to do that. I The only reason I went, I was the only girl in my class at the time. And the teacher, of course, told me I was a fool. No one would ever want to eat vegan food. You have to remember this is 38 <laughs> years ago. So I stuck with it anyway and graduated. And um, so all the chefs laughed at me and all that. But now, look, everybody's doing it. Yeah, I, I believe it. So, yeah, we're plant-based all the way. So my dream is to buy a property and build a yoga Pilates studio on one side, an educational kitchen in the middle, and a flight studio with the bungee workout on uh, the okay. other side. I have a really cool, just really quick story. Good. A woman in the Hamptons found my book online, never met me, never heard of me bought the book. She and her husband were on high blood pressure medicine, going downhill, feeling terrible, low energy, no sleeping, the whole bit. <clears throat> he had a knee replacement, wasn't doing really well, wasn't healing really well. And they were getting ready to do the second knee. So they needed him to get stronger to do the second surgery. Uh -huh. So she found the book, she started cooking the recipes and doing the lifestyle tips all without talking to me or ever meeting me. They both got off their blood pressure medicine. She DM'd me through Facebook and told me that she had found the book and found me and that she and her husband were off their blood pressure medicine wow. and that his knee ended up healing 30% faster and better than his orthopedic surgeon actually thought. So then I started just messaging her back and forth with little quick tips, nothing mm -hmm. big, just little. She did them all. They canceled her husband's second surgery. He no oh. longer needs knee replacement. They are both, and I have all of these DMs so we could make like a cool little collage out of them or something. She told me that they're both off of all medication. They do four days a week plant-based and then three days a week, they do whatever they want. And um, they hold hands and walk and watch the sunset every evening. And they're enjoying their lives more than ever because of their healing medicine angel. That's what they call me. I Isn't that the coolest story? I love it. I love it. And that, so that person is an example of one of the people who will join your community. 50 bucks a month for that person, a hundred bucks a month, a thousand bucks a year, we'll call it. There's nothing. To be in a community where 
all those DMs you were sending, you're going to be, instead of DMing people directly, you're going to be sharing that information in a, in a post inside your community and everybody gets to benefit from it. And not only do they learn from you, they get the, uh, the community support benefit of all the other people who are in a similar situation or, or on the same journey. That makes your community priceless. Somebody, she, that lady would be the mentor for another lady in the exact same situation, but who just started. Like her husband is just now facing the surgery and this other lady has already been through all of that. And she can say, well, yeah, you can do this and do this and do this. And I did this and this worked and I tried that and that didn't work, but I did it this way. And then it did work for me. And all of that, when you create the community, the, the kids will play amongst themselves. That's you just so gotta, awesome, right? You bring them together and they will they will train each other, they will support each other, and you're there to be the, you know, the the provide the guidance. But most of the benefit, once you get it started, most of the benefit that they receive will be from each other. They they're gonna be supporting each other. And uh and I you love get paid that. for what you're you know, for creating this this environment where these kind of connections can be made and these, these kind of relationships can be uh, developed and, and just Foster. and blossomed. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Gosh, I wanted to do this for so long, Lindsay. Thank you so much. I You're can't welcome. thank you enough. This is exactly what I'm looking for. Yeah. Exactly. I yeah. want to create a fabulous, fun, loving community. I just, yeah. I love this. Okay. Yeah. So, what what shall I do next? You're going to send me what I should do next in equipment. an email? Yep. Okay. I'm going to send you an email. I'm, uh, first thing, we're going to get your equipment. And then um, from there, once we, we get your equipment and do like a test video in your kitchen to get your, because we're going to get you a microphone. That's easy. I'm going to put that, all, all of this will be in the in the email with the equipment. And We'll do a test recording to get everything set up correctly and work through that. There's going to be some gremlins and we're going to work through it. You're not doing it by yourself. And then Thank once you. once we've gotten that set up, it's pretty much going to be the exact same setup every single time. You just get to cooking. So you start, you make some recipes and now yes. we have stuff that we can um, edit and put on YouTube and then we just, just repeat. So that, that, that tech hurdle, once you get over that hurdle, yes, all you're doing is cooking. So that's gonna be so, and and sharing. I want to do some yoga stuff. I want to go out to the lake and maybe do just a three pose flow that would be so easy for people. You know, people with medical conditions and that. So I don't want to just do the food. I know you're just working with chefs, but well, that's not. I'm not. We want to build a. Like think of the most wonderful variety show, but we want to do the wellness fitness version of that. You got to do that. And all of that you can do, but that has to be inside your community. Okay. Because for YouTube to do what it needs to do, you got to be specific. So okay. you say, YouTube, I got this cooking channel. Go find me people who like cooking shows. It will do that. And once you brought those people in and they, then they can find out about your community and all this other stuff you have available. They will join. And in there, you can do anything you want because you're not contending with an algorithm trying to figure out what is this all about. You can. I uh, get what you're saying. Okay. It's another gremlin. It's another one of my challenges. I'm not focused enough. Yeah. So you're going to be able to do it. You know, I do all these things, but people don't understand. And I think, Lindsay, that people don't know what to do with me. That They're happens, like, what does she do? You know yeah, what I that, mean? That, like, that happens to me, too. And it, it, it happens to pretty much everybody who has more than one talent. If you're good at more than one thing, it's got to be something that's in, involved with the core human brain or something that people can't see you as more than one thing. Because it's, it's a very okay. common thing that folks can't, like, wait a minute, you do this and you do this? And somehow that confuses them. Like, yeah, I know how to do more than one thing. Why is that so confusing to you? But it is. So we just have to understand that and work around it by 
in this context, we're going wellness, to present a cooking show. Wellness you know, cooking or something like yep. that, right? Like we're a very use, focused type of cooking. We're going to use food to bring people to the table. And once we have them at the table, we can have conversations about different things. Okay. But we start with the food because that's the easy way to get everybody's attention. And then we can bring them closer and have those more nuanced conversations and, and they will give us time to understand. They will you know, actually be listening and give you an opportunity so they can understand, okay, yeah, man, this lady's incredible. She knows how to do this. 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 When they're listening to you, they can they can embrace all of that and, and, and absorb it. But And see how exercise is the catalyst for the food we eat. That's yeah. what people don't understand. Movement releases the chemical reaction of putting the good food in or the bad food. Yeah. Combination of bad food, no movement is death. The combination of good, clean fuel and really fun, exciting movement that makes you feel good, doesn't hurt you, is is life. Yeah. Man, you're Yeah, I'm excited about this because you're you you have everything you need except the channel, the YouTube channel, and we're gonna take care of that real quick. Um You're so you have, kind, Lindsay. God bless you. I can't thank you enough for being willing to help me. This is what you get for what you've been doing. So thank you. That's that's how this works. Who's really gonna help? Somebody's <laughs> really gonna do what he says he does. This is what you okay. get for what you've That'd been be doing. That's a new chapter in my life. <laughs> yeah, because I've been, you know, I've paid a lot of money to people who didn't do what they were supposed to do as well. Again, that's everything that I do is because of the experiences that I've had, and I know where people are and what they're trying to do and what kind of roadblocks and, and, and wrong turns they run into. Cause I did the same thing. So, okay. uh, I get it. I, I, I get it. I've okay. yeah, spent a lot of money and got nothing for it. So I get it. Okay. And I get really excited and I'm overly optimistic about everything. So just, I just want you to know that like okay. I, I am just so optimistic all the time and I Good. move, you know, like if people tell me this is what needs to be done, I do it. Like Good. I'm willing to do whatever it takes. Okay. But Lindsay, truthfully, I want to do it before it's too late. I'm getting old. Yeah, I know. We're, we're, we're doing it now. So that's no longer a concern. We're doing it now. Okay. All right. Thank so, you. Yeah. You'll, you'll, <laughs> Yeah, we're, we're, with the experience you had with PBS and that level of production as far as the volume of recipes you were creating. Yes. Yeah, a fraction of that is what's required for this to be successful. So, yeah, you um, we're doing this now. You're, you're, you're going to be in a completely different place by this time next year, and it's probably not going to take that long. Okay. Um, you might see something significant by the end of this year, given the body of work you have and all the relationships you have, the people who okay. already know you and trust you. That's really the challenge when launching a new channel and, and building a new business is okay. people got to get to know you. You've already done all of that work. You, you, right. you have all of these people who, again, are ready to pay you. You just haven't given them a way to do it. Right. And we really have a recent like 10 years of really good work and really good media exposure. And so, I mean, the imp put $400,000 just into the live show after they built the million dollar studio. And that yeah. was a first. Nobody had ever done a live cooking show out of Vegas in a live theater. And so, um, you know, the past 10 years have been really good. But I just don't understand why I can't seem to get to that next level. So I'm hoping, I don't know. I just want to build the no. community. Yeah, so just yeah. tell me it's, what I need to do and I'm yeah. going to do it. It's, it's uh, so the, the, the reason you haven't been able to do it is because this is very common. Um, 
people have professional skills, but not business skills. So you don't know how to do the marketing. You don't know how to do the business development. You know how to do the thing, but you don't know how to do the business tasks that that turn that thing into money. That skill the into money. The machine that runs the thing. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how to do the yeah. machine. So, I don't. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I Thank that's you. that's the part that I do because I I was in that again. That's the path that I walked when I left my IT career behind to start a photography business. I thought it was just good enough. It was good to be great at photography. That was all you needed. And then I found out quickly that uh, you actually got to know marketing. And then there's all these other business skills you have to know. It's not good enough to take pretty pictures. You got to actually know how to build a business. And right. I learned that the hard way. And That's so hard. Um, yeah. everybody, you know, I work with folks in my peer group, you know, Generation X, and it's the same thing. We've uh, developed all of these professional skills. And then you finally get enough of of life the way you're living it, working for somebody else and decide you want to do a, run a business and do something on your own. And you don't have any of the necessary skills because it's not taught anywhere. It's not taught at any level of education. And your job certainly does not teach you how to go be an entrepreneur so that you can leave and go make more money. So <laughs> if, if you don't on that, don't that. <laughs> <laughs> so so you, your options are either learn the hard way the way I did which I don't recommend um, or you work with somebody who's learned the hard way so they can just tell you the answer and so that's what we're right. doing now I can just okay. tell you the answer thank you all right so I'll yep. just look for your email and then yep. go get the things and yep. then let you know that I have the things yep. and then you'll let me know what to do next. Yep. That's exactly how okay. it's going to work. All that's right. Exactly how it's going to work. Sounds Any other great. questions? No. All right. Have a great evening, Tina. Thank you. It's so nice to know you. Thank you so much for your time. You're I really look welcome. forward to working with this project with you, Same Lindsay. Here. Same here. Thank you. Excellent. All right. Take care. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. God bless you, Lindsay. Bye-bye. All right, well, I'm excited for Tina and expect her to succeed quickly because she has all the ingredients and just needs a plan. And I'm going to provide her with a plan and walk her through implementing it. The most important thing about Tina that makes me believe that she's going to be successful is that she has a sense of urgency and understands that we don't have forever to pursue our dreams. Most people who reach out to me are lacking that awareness and keep delaying their cooking show as if they're guaranteed an unlimited number of tomorrows. Those folks are going to get a rude awakening one day when they realize they waited too long And now it's too late. But that's not Tina. Right now, we're in the last week of October 2023, and I expect Tina to be making money from her cooking show before the end of the year, especially since cooking shows perform best during the fall and winter. And this fall and winter, there's a particularly big opportunity to launch a cooking show because of the ongoing Hollywood strike, which means that there are going to be reruns on TV for months. The biggest opportunity in our lifetimes to launch a cooking show was during the pandemic. The Hollywood strike is the second biggest opportunity we're ever going to see, and it's hard to imagine there will be another opportunity this big again. If you want to follow Tina's journey to building her cooking show, be sure to subscribe because I'll be documenting the coaching on my channel, and you'll be able to watch her actual cooking show on her channel. And if you're tired of watching other people's cooking shows and you want one of your own, use the link in the description box to apply for a strategy session to discuss your ideas. If your application is approved, I'll hop in a video meeting with you just like the one you just watched, and we'll develop a strategy for creating your cooking show. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to follow Tina's journey, and I'll see you in the next video.